Sometimes a work of art can have a powerful impact on its viewer. It can speak to them and spark a train of thought. Art is especially powerful when the artist intended to spark this thought. Using art in this manner has been done by authority and political groups because it has the power to have a greater impact than speech can. It also has been used to express the unrest of the common man and woman. <laughs> Renaissance was indeed a great period of time in art. The style of painting, sculpture, and decorative arts identified with the Renaissance emerged in Italy during the late 14th century. Renaissance art was driven by the notion of humanism. Humanism downplayed religious and secular dogma and instead attached the greatest importance to the dignity and worth of the individual. Because artists created their works based on humanism, they connect to the viewer on a deeper and more meaningful level. Venetian doge Andrea Dondalo recounts that the city was founded by Saint Mark. Dondalo's mythical account was one of many that have evolved to explain Venice's origins, all of which stress two points, that the city was Christian and it was independent. Venice was fully aware of the power of art as propaganda. The city used its complex system of signs, including such images as the line of St. Mark, to present a picture of the state to the world and, of course, its own citizens. These images present a clear and more explicit message than just mere words. By associating a picture with a part of their life, the viewer more readily accepts. This gets back to the idea of humanism. Having some of the greatest artists of the time create and build these works indeed made them timeless. Even if mindsets changed over time, the message would still remain, even if not relevant. Venice's understanding of the power of art fueled them to create lavish works of art. Work was begun in the clock tower of St. Mark's Square to dispel fears that the state was on the verge of bankruptcy. Protestant Reformation led to a split between Christians and Protestants. As a result of this, a new form of art was developed. One that differed from the high Renaissance art of Italy, Spain, and other places of Southern Europe. The Milkmaid is an illustration of Protestant virtue and devout living. The main characteristics of Reformation art sprang from Protestant theology which focused on the individual relationship between the worshiper and God. The Renaissance was truly a great time for art. Artists pushed to find new principles and in the process the power of art was understood to have the capability to move people.